All right, everyone, here is part two of the Amped Wireless Ally Router. Currently, I have the router plugged in to power and the Ethernet cable plugged into my modem. So you guys can see back here, there's the modem plugged in and the power cord plugged in. All right, you guys cannot really see it, but I didn't set it up yet. The LED is solid green. Let's see if the mobile app, how they described it uh, in the instruction guide, says uh, it'll work or not, basically. So, remember the reviews that people have said, says the app sucks, they gave it a one star rating, um, they said they should, don't buy this router, but let's just see, uh, I'm kind of curious here what will happen. So here's a Android phone, here's the Ally app, let's go ahead and open it up. Uh, we'll go ahead, let's see, it's a setup ally or login. Let's do a setup. Create an email address and password. All right, let me do that real quick here. All right, so I've created an account, and creating an account on the ally app will actually create an AVG account. So that's kind of interesting. Um, so it's not an account with ally, it's an account with AVG. So you'll get an email saying, welcome to AVG, uh, confirm your email, this and that. All right, so now, next step here, tap next to set up Ally. It says unplug your modem, blah, blah, whatever, reboot your modem, plug it in. I already did all that. All right, hit done. Go to this device Wi-Fi settings, look at Ally, return this app. All right, go to my Wi-Fi settings. There it is, Amped Ally C197 is this router's name. I'll tap on that, it's unlocked, connected. All right, so I'm gonna go back to the app. It's going to load, so far so good. All right, now it's letting me change the Wi-Fi names. So there's 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. Let's change. First one is. Let me just call it Ally or Ally Wi-Fi. Because why not? It's going to be a test for this. So Ally test. So without the 2.4, without anything, it's going to be 2.4. Ally test 5 is going to be 5 gigahertz network password. I'm just going to make it easy. Don't do this. I just made it password for this video. Let's hit continue. Creating your network. This is going to take up to a minute. All right. Your network, whoops. Your network is now up and running. Your network name, ally test. Password is password. Ally test five, password is password. So two networks, hit continue. Firmware update required. Please update, it may take a while. Update now. Now this is where one of the comments or reviews I was reading stated that the update would fail. Yep, <laughs> so I kind of expected that. Try again, and it failed. Dismiss. Let's reopen the app. Oh, well, surprisingly, it let me through. Nope, and here goes update again. So basically, how you're accessing your router from any internet, so basically over now it's LTE. So I could be anywhere. I could be outside, out and about, how it's connecting to your Ally router at home is through your AVG account or Ally account. So as long as you are signed into Ally or AVG in the app, it knows that this is yours. So this specific router name or MAC address, however they associate it with your account, is yours. So that's how you can control it from anywhere you are. So you could be anywhere on public, open the app and you can see who's connected to your router, you know, anything that your kids are doing, any other devices. 
So that's why I don't need to be connected to this router directly in order to see this information. Let's try update now again. And if it fails, I'll just connect to it directly uh, through a web browser or something. Yep, it failed. All right. So now to get through a web browser, you need to be connected to the network or through an ethernet cable with a computer, doesn't matter. So here's Ally Test and Ally Test 5. So let's do Ally Test 5, type in the password, and that should work. So if you just need a router without the app working, maybe this will work for you. So it's connected. There's the Wi-Fi icon up there. I can open up a web browser now. Let's go to its IP address or the setup page. Two links you could use. I believe there's one called setup.ampwireless.com or you can use 192.168 or 3.1 and it says there's an access code. This is a problem because I set it up with the Ally app to get the access code, I would need the app to work. Oh, by the way, here's a uh, notification from the Ally app saying 1 plus 6T join your network. So you do get notifications when devices join, which is pretty convenient. But I can't log in now because I need an access code. And to set up an access code, it's basically during the setup process of the router. So in this case, I use the app to set it up. And because I can't get past this update screen, I'm stuck. I can't get past it. So I can't get past this screen to look at my access code or set it up. And now if I try to use a web browser, I can't get an access code to get in. And yeah, their app sucks. It just failed again. So this is a firmware failed, update failed, try again, dismiss, whatever. There's no way you're getting past that screen. Same thing if you're on an iOS device. Um, I'll bring up my iPad. Here's the Ally app. Uh, if I want to log into that, let me log in real quick. But here is the Ally iPad app or iOS app. So if you have an iPhone, this will work too. Um, it's currently hotspotted to my phone and it's still not able to update. So can't really see that, but it does say it's on the update screen. And instead of saying it failed, this is saying server unavailable. And the internet does work because I can actually open up Chrome. Uh, let's go to Micro Center's website or something and it loads. So the internet does work. The Ally app just sucks. <laughs> uh, so if I were you guys, don't set up with the Ally app at all. Uh, we're going to be using the web browser method or the computer method. So it doesn't matter. We'll do that in the next video here. So before you can actually set it up, using a browser method because there's an access code on the login screen you have to reset the router back to factory defaults so to do so i'm gonna go ahead and grab a little pin and then we'll uh, poke the reset button behind the router okay so to reset the ally router so right now it's solid green if you flip it upside down there is a reset button so if you hold it for, they say, 10 seconds, I believe, the uh, green light should start flashing. So let's do that. Uh, you probably can't see it because the LED is so dim. Oh, I mean, it's a bright, I'm next to a window too, so. All right, I poked it and it's flashing. So I can let go. You guys can see it's flashing. So when it flashes rapidly like that, it's resetting back to factory defaults and it will be solid green when it's done. So there it is, back to solid green. So now the router is reset and ready to be set up again. All right, so I'm gonna end this video here. So watch part three to see the setup of this router without using the app.